Not many friends have the opportunity to meet after 45 years, but two of some of the greatest characters in the Word of God had not only the opportunity to meet, but also to, re to reminisce their days, their heydays, when God had sent Je uh, Joshua and Caleb as young men to scout out the land of Canaan. The two were the only among the 12 spies who came back with a positive report. But now as they uh, met later on, one of the friends had a special request for his friend that he reminded him about from those days. We read this in the book of Joshua, chapter 14, and from verse 6. The word of God says, Now the people of Judah approached Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb, son of Jephune, the Kenzite, said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God at Kadesh Barnea, about you and me. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to explore the land. And I brought him back a report according to my convictions. But my fellow Israelites who went up with me made the hearts of the people sink. I, however, followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. So these words were said by Caleb to his friend Joshua, who had taken over leadership from Moses, reminding him of what Moses had promised as a reward to the both of them. Of course, Joshua had the opportunity to take as much and as, as, uh, as the best of the land as he could, being that he was in charge of the allotment. And 40 years later, the land that Caleb still had to claim was unoccupied. This is what he said. In verse 11, I am still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out. I'm just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then. Now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard then that the Anakites were there and their cities were large and fortified, but the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as he, he said. Now the conclusion of the matter is that Joshua was not only impressed by the courage that his friend showed. 45, 40 years later, being 85 means that if you are a Kenyan today, there, there is not much you can do that you used to do at 40. In fact, in these days when there is a coronavirus, some of us tend to think that the older you get, the, the more vulnerable you are. But I want to uh, encourage someone today. It doesn't matter how long it takes after God has made a promise to you. He is unlike Joshua, who was likely to forget what God had spoken in the hearing of his servant. God himself promises and he keeps his promise. Today, as you look towards the future, remember the past as well, because the Lord is both the Lord of the past and the present and the Lord of the future. I want to pray together with you so that your strength may continue to be renewed and that you can say with Caleb, I am as strong as I was 40 years ago as I am today. And the Lord will give you that hill that you claim today. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Father God, I thank you for the strength that you gave to your servant Caleb, even when he was 85 years of age. Thank you for his memory. And thank you especially for the word that you sent through your servant Moses. And that there was a witness in his friend Joshua. We pray that even as we continue to struggle in our everyday activities, with disease, with the challenges of the ravages of weather and other challenges, you may give us the strength from the memory of your word that you have spoken to us in the past. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. May the Lord greatly bless you.